Just, she's, she's one of my favorite people. She, you're going to have fun with her. She's great. Oh, good. Great. Well, we'll just have fun. Okay. Do you want to? No, I'm good. Yeah. All right. Just ask me if I needed a different chair. I think I'm good. Can you see me? We can see you. Oh, hey. yay. Hey there. Hi. Okay. Carmen. Hello. Hi. Carmen. Uh, so Dolly, from Dolly your from right your... to left. Carmen, Dave in the middle, and Bill. This is Hi. Zach Williams and Dolly Parton. Hi, uh, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, hey, Zach. Zach. You guys got, doing all right? Got two blondes here, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got forces to reckon with, you fellas. <laughs> I tell you we're, what. We're, we're just trying not to get hurt. <laughs> Don't mess with us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Good morning to you. Good, Good morning, morning, Dolly. So Zach, I just have to tell you right off the bat, you win. You win. Dolly, we surprised Zach a couple of years ago with Mike Weaver and one of our, our fellow artists. And for him to surprise us with you. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I didn't know it was a surprise. Yay for me. I love to be here. <laughs> You win, you win, you win, Zach, the fact that you're bringing us Dolly. So this is incredible. Dolly, I have to tell you before we get started, um, and we're, we're so excited to talk about the song that you do with Zach that we're playing, but um, God Only Knows and There Was Jesus was actually not Dolly Parton's debut on our radio station. True. It is true. Rockin' Years was oh. Dolly... <laughs> I'm Floyd, my brother Floyd wrote that, and uh, and I was I'm very proud of that. We lost him last year, and so mm. that very special to me because of that. But thank you, I'm glad to hear. Yes, that, that was that was that was your debut. But yeah, there was Jesus. Let's talk about that song. Well, let's first. I, I got to say, um, I we honeymooned in Gatlinburg, my wife and I, and we've been to Gatlinburg many times. Got some friends that let us use a cabin in Weirs Valley, so. Uh, we've been to Dollywood a couple of times, been to chapel services on a Sunday morning. So I know that faith is something that has always been a part of your story, but what is it that drew you to this particular song? Jesus and Zach Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> when I got this song, you know, I get tapes all the time. People are always wanting me to sing on things and, and I go through them, you know, like I, I don't have time to do this or they don't speak to me or I don't think I can compliment it. But anyway, I got this CD they put in my little box where I always, you know, go outside my house and I just put it in. I thought, well, something just kind of led me to play it. I thought, well, you know, it's some, something else to listen to. And all of a sudden it was like, it was a blessing and I knew that it was a God send and I knew that it was meant to be. And so I just loved it and I love Zach's voice. Yes. And, uh, this, we're going to sing so good together. So I called back and said, yeah, whoever, whoever sent this in, yes, I will do this. And I'm mm. so I did. I felt like it could be a number one song, and I hope it is. And it's uh, certainly a hit with me either way. And I love that. Well, it's definitely on its way up. And I'll tell you, we had a little time off here, and I heard that song on the other side of the speakers really for the first time in the last couple of weeks. And not only is Zach's voice like a like a chunk of mountain, you know what I mean? <laughs> you take that out. But Dolly, you do more than compliment this song. It it sounds like a duet where there's just uh, a ton of emotion and passion in your voice. And I, I just wonder what it is. Like my favorite line in here, just the beginning of the chorus, which is in the waiting and the searching and the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. That is I such love a love that. What, what great lines are those? And Zach's a great writer as well. And the other guys, I guess, that helped write it. But anyway, that's just such a wonderful, wonderful song. So well written. But the, it's just, and the melody's so great. And his voice, mm -hmm. when I was in the studio, hearing his voice in my headphones, it was just, it just went all through me. Like spirit was just running through every every vein and cell of my body and it just I just thought this is such a blessing to me personally to just to sing this and I thought I just hope that the public gets the same feeling mm -hmm. that I'm getting from this and evidently they have how about you Zach did you feel yeah. it <laughs> I gotta say like the day that we we worked on this in the studio um I, I didn't know what to expect I was just in shock that we were there working on a song together and uh you know, I gotta, I gotta brag on Dolly. Like she could have, she could have come in and like just mailed in a vocal and went home, been there mm -hmm. 30 minutes and left and said, okay. And I would have been completely happy with it. Totally. But I bet we were there for three or four hours and she would do something that we all thought was 
just unreal. And then she'd be like, let me, let me do it one more time. She was like, I'm starting to feel it. And we were just sitting there like watching this happen. And I was like, man, this is like, who gets to do this, you know? And so what you, you know, you were talking about just the emotion in that song, like, man, she, she found something in herself that day that mm -hmm. I've had, well, I've had several people tell me like, man, I haven't heard Dolly sing like that in, in years. And like, it just, it feels good to have that on, on a song, on a record. And to just be a part of that, it was, it was so cool. And I mean, yeah, I mean. Does, yeah, so Zach, the song gets sent to Dolly and you don't know if she's gonna say yes or not. Tell us how that was for you when your manager or whoever it was that called you and said, Dolly has said yes. What was that like for you? Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta tell you, this is, you know, you guys know my wife, Crystal. And yes. Yep. She always is just speaking into everything. She always, she has a way of just seeing things in a different way that I see. And, and about four years ago, I was working on a song and she told me, she said, I think you should do a song with Dolly Parton one day. And I was kind of like, yeah, right. And here we are four years later and we got this song and we sent it out. And when I told her I sent it to see if Dolly would sing on it, she was like, oh, you're going to do it. And I'm like, okay. And she just kind of has that thing about her. And, um, so a couple of months into the process of like trying to get the song, you know, out to Dolly, um, when, when we heard back, I was just, I was blown away. You know, I was in shock and I was calling everybody I, I know to say, Hey, I'm, I'm about to do a duet with Dolly Parton. And my wife was just like, sitting there going, I told you, I told you. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. That's kind of how she is. So, yeah. um, I'm starting to learn even more, you know, as, as I get older to just listen to everything she says. So. Oh, that's so great. Really quickly, Zach, how's your part. neck? <laughs> yeah. Zach, how's your neck doing, by the way? I know you had neck surgery. It's doing good. Yeah. Um, still a little bit of soreness in my shoulder, but um, mm -hmm. I mean, I would do it again because it fixed. I'm not having numbness anymore, so it's good. Yeah. 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 I know that um, when people are going to be uh, in the room with Dolly, and I'm guessing, Zach, when you knew that you were going to be in the studio with Dolly, you were a little bit probably butterflies in a way that you haven't had in a while. Unlike uh, I'm having right now, just like, so you know. Yeah, we, 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 we <laughs> mopped up a <laughs> gallon of sweat from under Carmen. You can't see it. I can't tell you how many times. Dolly, I've been doing this for the last uh -huh. 30 minutes. Well, I, I, I said before, I ain't all that. I ain't even all there. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Dolly, what do you do when you know you're going to have this, this uh, Reaction. effect on people? The effect on people, yeah. How do you I, know, I think I've just been around so long. People just kind of think of me as an aunt or a sister or mm. somebody family a favorite aunt i'd like to think so but i'm yeah. just complimenting but it always i'm such a down-to-earth person you are i'm always surprised when you know people act like it's that i think no calm down it's just me <laughs> I'm just like, no, here. but i'm always complimented but but singing with zach i was i was humbled by that i was a, i was excited about singing with him as he mm -hmm. was because I love his voice and I love working with and around really gifted, talented people. And I thought our voices really worked great. So mm -hmm. I was really did. excited about singing with him as he was with me. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I was in country radio for a long time in which I'm from Alabama originally. So, I mean, Dolly, I grew up on you and Kenny. Like I, from the time I was knee high, it was Dolly and Kenny. And so just, you know, I know that in, in recent years, you wanted to do more faith-based things. So what would you say, is, I mean, because you were raised in the church, obviously, and I feel like all of us Southerners are, are raised on Jesus. What would you say, what would you say that you know about the Lord now and like your later years than you probably, what have you learned about him in your later years than you probably would have known about him in, in your early years? Because it's, it's a journey for all of us. Well, I just learned, well, I've always loved Jesus. I've always grew up with that. But as you get older, you just take mm -hmm. the time to really see all the great things that happen. If you're a humble person, which I truly am, I see all the great things that have happened to me. I know I couldn't have done that by myself. And I really mm -hmm. know that life gets really hard and complicated as you do get more successful, more burdens and all that. So you really need to lean more, you know, on God and, and your faith. So I just make it a point to stay in touch, you know, with that and to let that be my anchor. I just pray every day, you know, that God will bring all the right things, all the right projects and people into my life and all the wrong things out. And I just tr pray every day that God will let me glorify him and uplift mm. mine and that's mm -hmm. my, that's my prayer every day so i just try to just stay closer in uh 
as you get older, I guess I'm just kind of cramming now, you know. <laughs> hey, better safe than sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Oh gosh. Well, it really is an honor to be talking to y'all. Sure is. So we've been doing this for a long time together, and I think the greatest compliment that we've received, and I think even personally that somebody has ever told us is, you know, you guys are just the same in person as you are on the radio. I think that's probably the best compliment we could receive. I'd lo love to know from both Zach and Dolly, what is the greatest compliment someone could ever give you in a professional sense? Go, Zach. Uh, you know, for me, I, I just grew up and my dad always, he would always tell me no matter where you get to alive, never forget where you came mm -hmm. from, um, you know. And so I would, I would love for people to see that, you know, without me having to to tell that to somebody, you know, um, I think when I, you know, I can say this when I met Dolly, she, she had a way of making everybody in that room when she was talking to you kind of feel like you were the only person, mm -hmm. there. you know, and mm -hmm. that's an easy thing to do, especially when you get to be really successful. It's easy to just kind of look over everybody and just kind of skim the room. But um, I was, I was blown away by how, like, how I felt like it was just like, there was a room full of people, but it felt like just me and her. And, I'll tell you somebody else that made me feel the same way. And it was Charlie Daniels when I met him mm, he had a way yeah. of being in the moment and giving you all of his attention. And so, um, yeah. And I think you don't get that and, and unless you really remember where you came from and how you were raised. And, and so for me, I just want people to, to see that in me. Mm. And I kind of feel the same way. I, I really feel like, you know, that we, um, we should stay kind of, close to our we, we should pay attention to our roots um, yes that's at home and in the beauty shop right here three o'clock today you, Gandhi. yeah <laughs> oh my goodness well guys thank you so much and man we love the song we're playing it it's in heavy rotation and just thank you for taking the time to spend with us this morning All right, well, thank you god bless you you God too. Bless you. Bye, Thank you Zach. so much. Bye, Dolly. Yeah. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all.